as we say in the business, location, location, location. <laughs> Maybe it's also important. I think it's real estate business, not molecular biology business. <laughs> I don't know. I think Samantha Mendonza, uh, working at the MDC Berlin at Bimsby, is going to tell us how location matters in the cell. Let's Take welcome it her on the stage. <laughs> Thank you for the introduction. All right. So, you need a new couch. You took the day off, you gave them your address. You're waiting for that big furniture delivery from that big furniture company, only to realize there are eight Berliner Straßen in Berlin, and you gave them the wrong zip code. Well, just like online shopping enthusiasts, cells like neurons also rely on a working postal system to function. But they transport mRNA molecules produ produced in the nucleus all the way to the distal axons and dendrites, where the mRNA provides the instructions to quickly synthesize proteins for local function. But unlike not receiving your couch, if this transport is defective, it can cause degeneration of the axons the first sign of a neurodegenerative disease. But how does the RNA get where it needs to be? mRNAs can also have zip codes. They are short sequences or structures in the mRNA 3' UTR. They are recognized and bound by specific RNA-binding proteins that transport them towards their destination within the cell. But here's the problem. Although we find thousands of mRNAs in neuronal projections, we have found very few zip codes. And this is where I stepped in. My colleagues and I, we developed a sequencing-based method to identify zip codes in multiple mRNAs all at once. We took mRNAs found in neuronal projections, cut up their 3' UTRs into short overlapping fragments, and looked at where these fragments ended up in neurons. If we found a fragment in the projections, it contained a zip code. And with this method, we identified and validated new zip codes and binding factors, and even a new mechanism for mRNA localization in neurons. The amazing thing? This method can be adapted to study localization in any cell type. And knowing the zip codes and binding factors that modulate mRNA localization could make all of this possible. From studying and manipulating local mRNA function to building predictive models for the localization of mutated sequences in diseases, and even developing targeted approaches for the delivery of mRNA therapeutics. So the next time you order something, recheck the zip code and hope that the German postal system works as efficiently as your cellular postal system. Thank you for listening. Who is the winner? So there, there, there's, there's the golden one. Yes, please. Um, lots of guys on stage today. And the winner is again a lady. Yeah, I could, could say this. And the winner is Samantha Mendoza. excited it's taking a bit of time to take it in that I won the golden bear it was to be honest so much fun being on stage and talking about my research I I would suggest everyone to actually take do something like this for science communication <laughs> <laughs>